Hi everyone, David here with another unboxing. Today we have the Wavelink USB 3.1 Generation 1 Dual Bay Hard Drive Docking Station. And let's see what comes in the box. Let's start with the easy stuff. Not happy. Warranty card, happy. This comes with it. It comes with a USB-C to USB-C cable. The uh, installation CD for the drivers. And the user manual. And all the instructions are in English, as you can see. Simple enough. A power supply. And of course it has a little plastic protecting it that closes opens you can fit a small drive here another one here this is source and this is a target in other words so if you want to copy this hard drive into this one you can go with either both drives um, towards the back you have your USB-C port the voltage and on off switch and of course 25% 50% second indicator it looks like and that is pretty much it. That's everything that comes with it. All right, here we have the dual, the Gen 1 dual bay docking station. I had to contact them because the, my computer doesn't have USB type C. So they were nice enough to send me a USB 3 to 3.1. That was very generous of them. It's a pretty decent size right here. And of course this will hold up back here. And I'm going to do a few things here real quick. I'm just going to plug this on the back. Okay. The power is still off. There's no, nothing going on here. But what we do have is the drive here. And of course, I'm going to put it in the source. I got to turn it on. Here we go. Blue light, matching torch, back up right here. And if I double click it, I got nothing in here. Great. So there's that. I am going to go ahead and unmount it. It's gone. The blue light came off. I'm going to power off. All right, we have our backup drive, which is this one. And there's only these files in here. For time's sake, I'm just, I just chose a small file. And the test drive, which is this one right here. I'm gonna clone this one into this one because this one is bigger than this one. So let's see if it works. So I'm gonna eject both of these as it says to disconnect it. So power it off. Disconnect the cable. I'm gonna turn this on, and it says to press the OTB or OTG. I'm not really sure. Until the light's flashing, you see that flashing, and then you start it again, and it's copying. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, this thing is about done recording from one to the other. I stopped the video because I didn't want to kill my battery. But I'm hoping that it will finish soon. And I might have to skip a lot. <laughs> it's been about 25 minutes clone one drive to the other and I don't think what are, the information that's in there I think it goes over everything regardless so doesn't matter how much information you have in there it will copy a hundred and 
if it's 128 gigabytes it will copy all of it so that's why it takes for so long so it doesn't matter if it's empty or full it will still take that long it will clone an empty drive or a full drive so at the same time so makes sense I'm a little bit impatient so I went ahead and paused it stopped the video actually and came back hopefully you guys will get to see it finish before I have to reset my cameras again all right it looks like it finished here so I don't know if I should wait let me see what it says here I think the instructions that they sent me other than these stated that the lights will come off there you guys have it it finished finally finished it's been about an hour and uh, I'm gonna shut it off I'm gonna plug it back in so uh, we can verify what's on the drive both drops are mounting and both of them just showed up they're so they both say backup now see wavelink and wavelink they're both identical um, you know it's not it's only 69 megabytes that I copied but it took forever because um, it, it goes through the whole entire drive and it takes its time so whether it's a lot of uh, whether it's full or, or almost empty like this one it's still gonna take as long so it doesn't matter what information is in there which is okay with me and of course uh, this here this is the one drive and this is the other drive and they both got the same stuff so there you guys have it. I mean, it's, uh, it's not the fastest thing, but if you, I mean, we're talking about 128 gigabytes. So if you have a terabyte, you might want to set it before you go to sleep and come back and it should be mounted, but it does what it's supposed to. Now, this is a very small, a very slow drive right here. SSD and a 5400 RPM, I believe. And it's not the fastest drive, it's an old drive. This is from a 2009 MacBook. So, there you guys have it. If you like my videos, please uh, hit the like button and that will help me out. And uh, if you wanna see future content, make, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, until next time, have a great day.